what kind of models do you have three or four different kinds of models and depending on the material you select a model so one of the models is called as a trend model so on the x axis you typically have your timeline so january february march so on and over here you typically have your consumption 100 pounds 1000 pounds whatever the trend model tries to look at the historic consumption based on a trend it's increasing or decreasing or whatever and then tries to follow that trend that's called as a trend model so for trend model to be successful you need at least three periods so for january the consumption is so much for february the consumption is so much for march the consumption is so much what is the consumption for april the trend model can predict it now the problem with trend model is trend model cannot take care of seasonality right so january february march april the trend is like so but come december the trend is different so trend model typically is used for materials that have fairly constant demand during the entire year and the demand can be predicted using some kind of a model meaning it could be a straight line it could be a curve doesn't matter as long as the previous three periods can systematically determine what is the next month's consumption if it's a new product that you're trying to sell and you want to do mrp for that product this is probably a better approach because you don't know what's going to happen in seasonality you don't care you don't even know because you don't have so much of data so for new products trend model is probably a better choice then there is another model called seasonal model a seasonal model typically seasons happen once or twice a year right so a seasonal model predicts trends or predicts consumption based on season so you have your jan feb march april may june say the peak is in summer and in winter the consumption goes down and it's a pattern how do you know that pattern if you have at least 12 or 13 months of data which means that if you have the data for the last year entire year then you basically know what the seasonality is going to be and based on that sap is going to predict or forecast how much it's going to require in jan feb march april may june so what is the consumption for jan what is the consumption for february how about summer winter it automatically predicts the trend because it knows that in summer the production is high because last year it was high another model which is fairly constant is called the constant model right so if the amount of consumption is fairly constant you can just go for the constant model so these are some of the main prediction models so what you're trying to do is predict based on past consumption if you have new products go with the trend model if you already have a lot of history say one year's history and you know that um the history follows a seasonal pattern then go with the seasonal model and if the demand is fairly constant then you go with the constant model so coffee or coffee beans typically fall in the constant model things like pumpkin spice you guys had the pumpkin spice latte in starbucks right it's only available in winter or during the holiday season so pumpkin spice can be modeled using the seasonal approach for new products let's say you start a new latte go with the trend model 